Okay, so I've been wanting to rant about this for a while. The CJ is literally the worst boss fight in Toontown. I, I honestly, I've talked about this bit. I don't know how this boss fight was actually approved. If someone would have pitched this to me, I would have fired them on the spot. So, okay, let's just go from the beginning. So, you go in the elevator. And the normal sequence that Toontown Online had was fine, in my opinion. But, for some reason, Joey wanted to make it more cinematic. So, he made the sequence go on for longer. For whatever reason. I, I don't understand that. Like, okay, yeah, it looks okay. It's I, I mean, from an objective standpoint, yeah, it probably looks better. But who cares? You're just making the game longer, which is an MMO. Does anyone want it? I mean, I know it's only like 40 seconds, but you still added on time. So why do you do that? So, okay, then you have a cog battle sequence. And I don't know why, but this cog battle sequence is very, very short. I, I don't know why. The VP battle has two distinct rounds. You have an easier one and you have a harder one. Then the C CFO is a mix and it's a pretty long mix. And then the CEO just has like a million cogs. The CJ has a very small amount of cogs for some reason. You can just completely breeze through it. Don't know why. I would have probably added more, but okay, whatever. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Then we go on to the cannon round. Okay, now the cannon round is awful because I don't understand this. The timer, nothing you do matters in the cannon round until about like 20 seconds. I, there's an exact, I, it might, it's like 15, 20 something. There's an exact number. Nothing you do in the cannon round matters until that point in the cannon round. So you can literally, so you literally just sit there and it will, it's beneficial for you to just sit there and shoot. Because if you shoot before the 20 seconds, the cogs are just going to take over your seat. And you have a limit of tunes you can shoot out of the cannon. So, what are you doing? Okay, and then, the final round. All you do is literally run, get jury notices, run back, throw them in the pan, judge the evidence, jump, avoid the gavels, and then you can stun. And you you, you know what you want to do? You, hold, you run to the cogs, and then you hold down the keyboard key like this, and then you just spam control. And then there you go. You stun the cogs and you get a two times bonus. And you literally just do this. And then the harder difficulty is they put more garbage in your way, so it's harder to go get evidence, and it's more obnoxious to throw it in the pan. And yeah, th that's it. That's all there is. It's literally just making it more tedious the harder. And the <sighs> I don't know how this boss fight was a pro. I, I, the funny thing about the CJ is about every step of the way, something's at least baffling about it. So you go in, the cog fight is short for some reason. Then you have the cannon rounds, which you literally have to sit there for 40 seconds. And then I don't even know what the boss fight is. The, the CJ boss fight on paper, I think looks fine. To be fair, I think the CJ fight is a really interesting concept. If you had to do it like once... Maybe because there's something about a boss fight to be said. Um, you know, if this was in a normal game and, or if this was just like, I don't know, some weird, if this was like an event boss fight, honestly, in an MMO, then okay, I would probably say, okay, that's actually pretty creative. On paper, this is fine, but you have to do this boss fight 70 times to get a max tune. What? That's the problem. That is the main issue. I think the VP... The C and the CFO are really, really good boss fights for being MMO boss fights. The CEO, well, maybe I'll get to him one day. Um, I don't think CEO is nearly as bad as the CJ, though. I just think the CJ is just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? But yeah, and then the reward you get is pretty much useless. You can summon cogs and cog buildings and invasions, but what Toon Denner in did is made it so every time you complete a COG facility, you get an invasion bonus. So this makes invasions completely worthless. The only thing that you can do with this reward is to, if you're working up a new tune, I guess if the Laugh Olympics come again next year, well then, wow, whoop de yes. Um, okay, another thing that's annoying is the higher difficulty. At least in the CEO, when you have a higher difficulty, you will always get five pink slips. However, um, if you have a full book, 
and you use a big cheese invasion, and then you go in with all bottom feeders and you get the easiest difficulty, you will get that big cheese invasion back. The game just gives you whatever. I don't know why the people at Toontown didn't just say, wait a second, why don't we just make these stack? So then it doesn't fill in. Wouldn't that actually be interesting if it was like, well, I have like five bottom feeder summoning invasions, but if I re but if I go with a really good team, I could get maybe like a big cheese summoning invasion, and you could maybe collect those. I mean, it's something. It would be something interesting, not just oh, I don't know. This is the last thing I need. Okay, so I think that's all I had to say about the CJ. I don't like this boss fight. It's stupid. It's I. I, I what I, I do like the look of it. I really think the uh, look of uh, the Lob HQ is really good. I think the look of the CEO is really good too. I hate the look of back nine. Maybe I'll get to back nine someday. Back nines are so stupid. Um, okay, but I think that's all I had to say. The CJ's stupid. Ugh.